In this video, I'm gonna show you how you change your race room user interface so it looks really nice and you get some of those features that you might be used to from Assetto Corsa, like the Heli Corsa radar and the ability to move the apps around the screen and have more customization. It's really simple and uh, it's worth doing. So uh, let's go. Now, race room is a little bit mental, which I'm sure you all knew. Basically, it's got an in-game UI that's included there, which you can actually bind a button to, which allows you to move it around. And it does have quite a lot of features and nice things with that included UI. But it's also got something called Web HUD, which is a sort of out of program, fully customizable UI, which allows anyone to basically make whatever UI they want um, and just fully customize stuff, kind of like the apps that you've got in Assetto Corsa. Now, obviously, you don't want to fiddle around with things too much. So what I'm going to suggest that you do is you go to your favorite search engine, say, I don't know, Ask, Ask Jeeves or Outer Vista. And if you type in Otter HUD, you'll see here that uh, it's all kept up to date by Mr. Otter Nass. Um, the maker of Otter HUD, and you can you can literally just click on on the uh, link at the top in the forum. Uh, you click on that, and uh, it will bring up the uh, the download link on the page there. And you download that, you extract that into a folder on your computer, and crucially, crucially, um, what you need to do then is you need to actually run the exe for the program, and a window will pop up, and it will say looking for R3E process. And then what you need to do is on Steam for your race racing experience, you need to go to properties, you need to go to set launch options, and then you'll get this window here, the set launch options window, which is this is uh, applies to all, all Steam stuff. Hello, come back. <laughs> come back. Oh, it doesn't matter. There we go. Um, you'll get the la set launch options window, and uh, you type in dash web dev dash web HUD. Uh, URL equals HTTPS, uh, you know, forward slash Otter GitHub. You, you can see it there. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll paste this in the top comments so you can paste it. You can be lazy, so you don't have to like stare with a with your binoculars as to what to type. Once you've got that in the set launch options, click OK, and uh, that'll be applied to Race Room. And then when you launch Race Room, with you've got to make sure make sure that the web HUD is actually running. Uh, when you launch Race Room. Let's first make sure that Race Room actually launches onto the correct screen here on my computer. Primary monitor. Yes, please. There we go. When you launch Race Room, launch it in 64-bit mode, unless you're playing in VR, you'll see that uh, this starts activating. Found R3E process, mapping shared memory. Um, Race Room loads up here. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. And uh, when you go to the track in Race Room, uh, you'll have the new HUDs. Now, you'll notice when you first install it that the existing Race Room user interface will actually be running still and uh, will be will be popping up underneath the web UI. So what you'll want to do is um, go to the HUD settings in-game and you can, uh, if you just click Essentials only on this uh, in-game settings, so if you go to um, the settings here, uh, Gameplay settings, and then you scroll down, you see all the HUD settings, um, so you could just turn that to essentials only or you could just turn it off um but you may you may still want to keep some some certain things on like i still use the in-game mirror um and i still use um the one of the motec displays but you know it's going to be up to you but essentials only will probably do the trick so you get the clutter off and you've just got web ui on the screen so let me just go into single player here and we'll talk about some of the options in the in the web hud and some of the stuff you might want to set um Let's just, uh, let's, oh, I'm going to do like a little practice here. Don't want any AI cars driving into us. There we go. Just go there. And it will now be in the game once it's once it's loaded up. Um, really, there's not really that much to say about the web HUD. It's just a case of uh, you, you can, you, you obviously get the ability to move stuff around and you can choose what you actually want on the screen. I think the only, only real thing to be aware of... Uh, is that um, you might want to, if you're getting low game performance, you might want to set this to like low performance mode instead of high performance mode. I run it on normal performance mode because um, all the performance mode really does with web HUD is change the refresh rate of the web HUD. And um, 
stuff like if you've got um, like some of the meters for like what the engine's doing or like your pedal inputs, if you're running that on low performance mode, you'll see the frame rate of it's very low. But on normal performance mode, it looks perfectly fine. Um, so you'll see there to bring up the to bring up the web HUD elements. Uh, what we did is we just click on this this cog here, and then that lets you choose what you actually want displayed on the screen in, in the in the web HUD. Um, so it's worth just clicking through them, seeing what you get on the screen uh, and what you like, and if you, if you'll use it. Um, and then uh, you can once you've got it on the screen, you you literally just click on the elements and you can move them around. So you know we've got the tire temps here, we've got pedal inputs here, and uh, you can also when you click on them, you can just use you hover your mouse over it and just use the mouse wheel to increase and decrease the size of of the web HUD elements. Um, some some of the web HUD elements won't actually display. As you say the pit the pit um, exit thing there won't display until the actual data from the game is coming out. So we've got like the um, one of the one of the UI elements here just on the top left displays all the driver positions and I've also got a delta on the right. It's not displaying because we're not actually in a race. So I'm a bit of an idiot for going into practice there. But uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's really that simple. You can also with the web HUD, you can have like multiple layouts here so you can save three up to three different layouts uh, with you know with the scaling and stuff. Um, so if you've got different cars where you maybe want the bonnet to like hide the UI rather than having it blocking your view because that specific car's got a different shaped uh, bonnet, you know, you can do that and then just go back to the one you've saved. But uh, that's that's it really. All you have to do once you've uh, once you've installed it, as I say, once you've downloaded that file, ex extract it into a folder. Um, you can put it on any folder on your computer. All you have to do is make sure you run the EXE and make sure that you um, set those launch options in Steam. But uh, there you go. Once you've done that, you can enjoy the uh, the joys of web HUD and uh, race room much more. So what I what I definitely say is uh, join us for the ranked racing. Uh, just do a search on race room for ranked for the ranked servers, and then there's a scoreboard on there. It's really nice to see where people come. Um, if you found this video useful, uh, click the like button. If you found it enjoyable, click the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video that we do very soon. Thanks for watching, happy tea drinking, and goodbye everybody.